Hey y'all, welcome back to Poplar Creek Farm. Tonight I am going to go through my seeds and kind of organize and see where I'm at with everything, what I've got, and really decide what varieties I'm growing. Um, I did order quite a few seeds this year, and so I may not grow everything. I may just leave some things for another year, um, but we'll see. So I, I, like I don't have a fancy organizer, put them in a seed tray, 10, 20 tray. Um, and then they're in baggies, which are not the greatest to store in, but it's all right. Um, so I have some bee balm seeds from a neighbor um, that I'm going to try to grow. We'll see what grows. Bunch of zinnia seeds. These are in paper towels, so that's why there's like it's so packed. Okay, so I had gotten some more seeds the other day because I had to order um, some dahlia seeds. I decided to do dahlia seeds. I can't. I've never really done dahlias in general. Um, and I don't really want to order tubers. So I did order some dahlia seeds. My, uh, it's a, like a neighbor-ish <laughs> nearby. Um, the person who let us get cow manure, aged cow manure from them, she likes to grow flowers. And so I'm growing some flowers for her, starting flowers. Um, and she likes dahlias. So from Baker Creek, I got a couple different types of dahlia seeds, which dahlia seeds aren't necessarily like, you can't exactly determine what it's going to be. Um, it's kind of like a mix, um, whereas like a tuber is gonna be true to whatever it was before. Are those all dahlias? Yeah, all dahlias. And then, because I had ordered the dahlias, I was like, you know what, I'm going to, I went back and forth, but because I am starting my business and one of the things I'm doing is making soap uh, and lotions and creams and all those kind of things, I decided to order loofahs and I'm so excited. So we'll see, I'm gonna have to start these early um, because they take out their long, kind of a long growing season uh, and I have a short growing season. So I need to definitely start these inside early, um, but I am like ridiculously excited well, uh, to grow loofahs. That's cold. It's called a loofah. And lastly that I got from them um, was my free seed and it's purple kohlrabi. I probably have like five packs of purple kohlrabi. I'll have to look and see exactly. Um, so let's start with going through some of these things, the lettuces. Um, this is the blonde lettuce. We grew this last year and absolutely loved it. Um, I still actually have some of those from last year. So I'm going to grow a lot of that because it was like, a, it was just very, very tender and it didn't, it didn't get bitter with the heat, which if you have grown lettuces, you know, a lot of times lettuce gets super bitter with heat. Uh, and that one didn't, um, this is not really lettuce, but Swiss chard. Um, I'm going to grow it's rainbow chard and I'm really excited. I realized I like chard. Uh, like, I like it sauteed and it's, it's delicious. Um, butterfly spinach. I have a couple of these, of these Russian red or ragged jack free uh, kale packets, which I'm really excited because I love kale. Um, I got dazzling blue kale, which just looks really pretty. Uh, Rainbow lacinato kale from Fruition Seeds. And then I just got a plain lacinato. I'm probably saying that wrong. <laughs> and then I've got two of these. These, uh, the Japanese giant red mustard seeds. I got those free from Baker Creek and I grew those last year and they're really good. They definitely have a bite to them. Um, and they reseeded themselves outside and were growing even after it had snowed multiple times, they were still growing. It finally, after like a really hard frost, got really, really cold, then they finally died off. So I'm probably gonna plant those really early. I'm gonna plant them like one of the first things I plant outside uh, because they're, they're gonna do well. So when we planted last year, when we planted, I think it was this one, the blonde lettuce, we got one plant that was not that lettuce. Um, it was speckled and it was the most delicious lettuce I've ever had. So. I went looking at fruition seeds because that's where the seeds were from. So I figured there had to be something that ha it had, a seed had fallen in the wrong uh, packet or something. And this is what I came up with. The flashy trout back um, lettuce. So I'm hoping that that's, it looks just like it. So I'm hoping that's it. Play-Doh 2 lettuce. I don't think I'm gonna grow this year. I've got some growing up here right now. I wasn't a huge fan of it. It was pretty good, but it wasn't like spectacular. Um, I've got more dwarf kale, which I've got some growing right now. Uh, tot soy, which I've never grown before, so excited to try that. I'll probably go grow some more of this muslin mix. Um, and then this is also a free seed. It's Rouge de Ivor. 
the hiver the hiver i don't know it's a lettuce seed <laughs> from baker creek so the places i've ordered from for the most part uh for seeds are baker creek fruition seeds botanical interests um and i think i have some from johnny's selected seeds not a whole lot though i think the the majority of my seeds came from fruition and baker creek let's go ahead and look at my peppers which i'm i love growing peppers i just think the plants are so pretty um, so these are red rocket seeds that I saved from last year. I love the red rockets. They grew and like put out massive amounts of um, fruit and it was awesome. Um, so I've got another one I've got is Ancho Poblano. So these are supposed to be really good for like chili powder. So that's why I got that one. I have four different packs of jalapenos. Apparently I went really overzealous on the jalapenos. Um, one of these packs was from last year, I think. Or I might have more jalapenos. No. One of these packs I think was from last year. Maybe not, because they all look unopened. Pack for 2021. There we go. That's my one from last year. <laughs> Pack for 2020. And then my neighbor had given me some seeds because they don't have a seed starting set up and um, for me to start for her. So she had some jalapenos as well. And those are from Livingston, non-GMO. Uh, can't sell GMO seeds actually to bank our farmers but um this one was one that I grew last year it's sweet red I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna grow but grow it I didn't love it um it was kind of small and took a long time to mature and a lot of them ended up diseased um so I have the red rocket packet this was from last year um so I have a couple more of the actual seeds and then I've got the ones that I saved sweet sunrise was a yellow pepper again not a huge fan Johnny selects the seeds um it just it, it just underwhelms me. So that's a maybe girl. California Wonder, this is new to me this year. This was kind of to replace the red, the Mountaineer from last year uh, to see if that one's a little bit better, grows a little bigger and gets mature quicker. Uh, yellow Monster Pepper, super excited. Banana Pepper, this is a sweet banana. Last year I grew hot banana peppers, which they did really well, but my husband doesn't like the hot banana peppers, which I thought he did. Um, he likes the sweet, so I'm gonna grow those for him this year. And this is just a mini bell mix. And then Ozark Giant, another one to replace that, the red one. Basically, I'm trying out different peppers to get what I want uh, for the red peppers, especially. Sweet, I love sweet peppers in general. Like, I grew the habanada last year, um, which is a, an orange sweet pepper, and did not like it at all. I thought it was a funky taste. I just, I don't know. It was a, it was weird. Not a big fan. Won't grow it again. I, it's just not something I'm gonna, I'm gonna put uh, time and effort into. Um, oh, I got some more California Wonder peppers and more yellow lobster. I didn't realize I had ordered more of those. That's for selling though. Um, that's not all for me. I'm not gonna grow that many for myself. These packets only have about 25 seeds in them, and uh, I'm gonna be selling at a couple different places. So I'm gonna be growing quite a few different seeds. Now let's go through my favorite, my absolute favorite plant to grow. I love peppers and tomatoes. Um, I just like the plants. It's not even, like I love tomatoes and I love peppers, but I really just like the plants of them. I just think they're so pretty. And I love the smell of potato plants. So, and I ordered some more of some of these because again, for selling. So I've got multiple packets of the beef steak tomatoes. I got four packets of these. Um, classic beef steak from Baker Creek. That's because I know that that is something that people buy uh, in this area. A lot of people buy beef steak, and so I know that I can sell it. Um, the other, another one is Dr. Witchies. This is actually just for me. I'm not gonna sell any of them, uh, only because I only have one packet, and in my area, the people the people I'm growing for typically aren't going for like a funky yellow tomato or anything. They're more like red traditional tomatoes. Um, not to say in the future I won't grow some of those for selling if people, you know, seem interested in those, but I don't think so. Um, this was given to me by my neighbor. I had never actually ordered from my gardener. Um, again, she doesn't have seed starting set up, so I'm starting some seeds for her. And this was one she gave me, Quadro Tomato. It is a Roma, but it's an indeterminate Roma. Uh, mortgage Lifter, I've got a couple of these because, again, these are going to be good for selling because they grow really big uh round tomatoes like they're they're large size so if people will like those um people like to grow those kind 
So got some Amish paste. I have three packets. One's from Johnny Selected Seeds and two are from Baker Creek. The two from Baker Creek are from this year. The one from uh, Johnny Selected is actually from last year and I have some seeds left. Um, I grew, um, gonna grow some brandy wine. This again is probably just for myself. If I like it and it grows well, I may grow some for selling next year. Cherokee purple again for me. Um, I also got brandy wise. Um, so I'm really excited to try the brandy wise. I am growing, I have two packets of those because I may grow some of these for selling, but also I am hopefully going to be selling some, um, produce as well at the market. So Hopefully I can sell those. Um, Abe Lincoln, really excited for that. They are, again, another uh, really good slicer and big red. And I'm going to try them this year. And if I like them and they do well, I'll probably grab some extra to sell. Um, this isn't really a tomato, but it's in my tomato thing, ground cherries. I've never grown them and I'm excited to try them. Um, tr climbing triple crop. Again, this is for my neighbor. I've never ordered from this company. We'll try them. Um, try to grow some for her. I have lots of Romas because, again, Roma is one that sells well in this area, but also my neighbor, this is what she likes, is uh, the Roma tomatoes, and so I'm growing a bunch for her. Um, the reason I'm growing some for her, not only does she not have a grow station, but she they have also helped us a lot uh, get our property set up and help us with different projects and uh, just knowledge in general. I've called them for many, many, many things. Um, and so I want to give back to them because they've been doing this a lot longer. They don't sell uh, anything. They just, they farm for themselves. Um, Chadwick Cherry. I only have one pack of these. I have not found a red cherry tomato that I like love yet. So I'm trying a couple different varieties this year. I may sell a few. Um, Honey Drop. Cherry tomato. Sunrise Bumblebee. Truthfully, part of the reason I bought this is because it had to be in the name. I'll be totally honest. And they're pretty. Um, yellow pear. I've got two packs of those. I really liked yellow pear. I grew them last year. And these are the burpees I got from, I think like Ace Hardware or something. Um, Paul Robeson. One of these packs is from last year. One is a new one. I really like the Paul Robeson. They're great on like tomato sandwiches. They're not so great in, for slicing for, or for uh, canning at all because they're quite small. And then I think this is the last one. Yep. Italian heirloom. Three of these packets are new and one's old. Uh, and the Italian heirloom is I'm growing for paste as a major paste tomato because they're big, big paste tomatoes. Love them, love them, love them. So let's move on. And I'm not really going. Obviously, peppers tomatoes. Those are summer. They are not uh, spring or anything. These, some of these are going to be for the spring. I'm going to plant some in the spring and then some. But midsummer and then some in fall. Gotta do some succession planting. Uh, and that's carrots. So I'm gonna grow, grow the oxheart because I have heavy clay soil here and I struggle to grow tomatoes that are long um, because I either can grow them and they'll break because I can't get them out of the ground or I just, they don't grow long because of the heavy clay soil. So I wanna try those. Uh, this is Pusa Rudira. It's a red carrot and I love colored carrots. Um, this is from Johnny Selected Seeds. I think I ordered these last year or maybe I ordered them in the fall because I originally was going to plant some in the fall too and I didn't. Um, so these are a purple tomato. This is an F1 hybrid. Um, I just, again, I love the, the colored ones. Hercules. This was a big, um, carrot as well. Oh, and then I put some other root vegetables in here. I was like, what the? Um, Although I have another one of roots. So I don't know. I don't really know where to put kohlrabi. I don't know exactly where that falls into the things, but these are all free kohlrabi packets. I ordered some kohlrabi that's somewhere in these. Uh, and then also rutabaga. So really excited about those. I love rutabagas now. That I have tried them. They're delicious. And rutabagas and kohlrabi will both be spring as well um, with also succession plants. I bet the other rutabagas are in here. Oh, kohlrabis. Oh my gosh, I have five packets of those kohlrabis. So y'all, I want some kohlrabi. Hit me up. I have five of them now. Put the rutabaga in there too, in my root packet, instead of my carrot bag. Doesn't really make sense with the carrot bag. Um, so yeah, five packets of kohlrabi. Roots, root vegetables. 
uh, radishes. I grew some of these last year and they stunk, but it was my fault. I over sewed them and then I, it just, I didn't ever thin them and they kind of were on top of each other. Um, I'm gonna grow some beets. This is new to me. This is Chioga or Basano. They just look really pretty and I love beets. Um, salad rose, radishes, and these are, along with the other radishes are from Burpees. Um, again, I got them from Ace. And this is a rutabaga. I think this is a, um, purple rutabaga. The giant selects these so they don't have and I have it for the picture. Um, another kohlrabi, but this is the, the green one. This is a little bit bigger one than the purple. This is dark red, Detroit, uh, Detroit red beets. So fruition, when they were obviously growing was huge last year, um, they ran out of packets because of COVID and everything. And so they started having people make them and I love it. Uh, and then turnips. I don't, I think I'm gonna grow the turnips, but I'm going to grow them solely for selling because I have learned after buying seeds, of course I buy things, seeds for things that I have never even tried. And I realized that I don't like them. I don't like turnips at all. I wish I did. Well, I don't. All right, let's look at the beans. This always looks, beans make me so happy because it looks like so much, but it's just because bean seeds are the beans themselves and they're huge. So it looks like I'm growing a ton of beans. And really it's not that, that many, I think. All right, gotta pull them out and go through them. So I've got a couple packets of Gold Rush Bush Beans because I loved these. They were absolutely delicious and grew super well, were super pro prolific and grew for like a very, very long time. It wasn't like I just got a harvest, had a little more and a little more. It was like continuously tons. Um, so these are both provider bush beans from Fruition Seeds. Again, they ran out of seed packets and this is what they send. Uh, and these both have 50 in them, so I'm gonna grow lots of beans. Beans are kind of my big goal this year, so grow lots and lots of beans because beans are easy overall to store. You can pressure can them pretty easily. You can do dilly beans, um, and the drying beans you can just dry. So these are whole snap beans, Scarlet Emperor. They look really pretty and they look really tasty. Um, Bush snap bean, Royal Burgundy. I'm excited to have some color. I love, I think colors are fun. Even though beans, a lot of times once you cook them, they actually turn green. So it kind of defeats the purpose, but they're pretty well, they're gone. Um, these are a bush snap bean, black cocoa. They're just really yummy. And these ones you can actually grow for the, it's a black drying dry bean, or you can grow as a snap bean, which is really cool because it's multi-purpose. Uh, Dragon tongue bush beans. I actually got these free last year um, when I entered a contest. So I'll take it. Oh, I got more of the black cocoa beans because those I'm going to, primarily used for the black beans. Um, two of the Hidatsa Red Indian, which one's some red beans. Oh, I got more. Ooh, I got more of the provider's green beans. Whoops. I'm growing a lima bean. I got two packets of lima beans. Henderson's Bush. I love lima beans and my dad loves them. And so I'm excited to grow them for us. So that's all my beans. Not a whole lot of variety. I also do have somewhere. Oh, right here. My beans from last year, which these were the pole variety. And then I have the bush ones too. Again, somewhere. And here's the bush ones that I grew that I really liked. So I'm gonna grow, obviously, a ton. I'm gonna grow a ton of those. Um, so again, beans are huge this year because Beans are very sustainable. They're easy to save seeds from. You don't really have to worry about cross-pollination a whole lot. Um, they don't readily cross-pollinate. Even within bean varieties, being next to each other, they don't readily cross-pollinate. They pretty much uh, self-pollinate. And, get this bag closed. And uh, obviously they're easy to store if you're, especially if you're growing drying beans, they're very easy to store. It's not like you have to have a whole lot of equipment to store them so say the world went to crap and you have no means of getting food other than from your garden i mean this i we ate some of these too we ate some of these beans um and this was just from a couple plants and now i've got all these seeds and all i have to do is plant all these seeds get the plant let them dry and then i have i have beans for as long as they're dry for um which is really really cool more flower seeds. Sunflower. 
I think these are Cosmos. Yeah, the white Cosmos. And I've got orange Cosmos everywhere. These are the pole beans that I grew last year. And I didn't really like them, but I saved these for them anyways. So we'll see. I have so many things, guys. Sorry. All right. So let's go through squashes. All the squashes, which I also love. Um, I'm going to go with some spaghetti squash. This is from Botanical Interest. This is uh, vegetable spaghetti, which, I mean, I, obviously, spaghetti squash. That's what it is. Um, that's just the name of it, too, though. I don't know. Um, this is another uh, spaghetti squash, and this is angel hair spaghetti squash. And it's supposed to be like a little personal one. I'm so super excited about that. And these seed packets are like the coolest thing. They have like the cutest seed packets. Um, and then my zucchini. I've got two packets of these. These are Haifa's zucchini, or Haifa's finest zucchini for fruition seeds. I love zucchini anyways, but I'm telling you, this is the best zucchini I've ever grown in my life, and I can't get enough of it. So definitely grow more. Um, these I grew last year, honey nut squash. I had four or five plants, and I got about 50 squashes. They're small. They're like these little personal squashes, but they are so good. I, you just eat them. Like I just bake them, cut them in half, bake them and eat, eat them like that. You don't even need butter, sugar, nothing. Delicious. Um, pumpkin, Jack straw. This is hopefully for my kids. Um, Jack lantern pumpkins. I tried growing these last year. My chickens decimated them. They tore, they grew. I've got pie pumpkins from giant squash seeds. Also tried to grow last year and the trend my chickens decimated them um i've got two, two of these winter luxury pumpkins and that's not like a pie pumpkin butternut squash honest to god i totally forgot that i didn't order that i was debating on looking for butternut squash online order. oops <laughs> dickinson pumpkin um again this is a pie pumpkin and i'm excited to try it so and then this one is just so cute jack be little and some of those all grow so Ooh. That's one of the things is like squash because it's so easy you don't have to again do anything and it doesn't like go bad quickly as long as you um, let it dry out. You know, off, once it's off the vine, you let it dry. They last like all winter, so I can sell them for quite a long time without having to actually do anything. All right, so I'm gonna go through the flower pack now, which is not actually all my flowers. Just like I said, I've saved a ton of these. Lavender, love lavender, obsessed. Um, blue verine, ver, vervain. These are ones that I had last year, I didn't grow. So, marshmallow, tobacco, and I did order these ones this year. Sunflower, another sunflower seed. Um, although I do have seeds that I saved. As well, let's see what else. What else do I have? Brassicas. This is what happens when I make a long video. I just start getting like weird in it. Um, Rober cauliflower. Red Express cabbage. I grew some of this last year and it didn't do super well, but that was some of my fault. I grew them, like planted them in the heat of summer. So um, this is a hybrid green cabbage, storing cabbage. Try it. I still have some Brussels sprout seeds and I'm going to try to grow some of them. Um, cabbage, glory of ends. I, yeah, you see it, I don't know. I don't know why seeds have to have some, such funky names. <laughs> I'm so bad at these. I've got some more cauliflower uh, and more Brussels sprouts. These are from my neighbor. These are ones that she had purchased and again, couldn't start. Savoy cabbage, also from my neighbor. These are all from my gardener. These ones are uh, Calabrese broccoli. And I have more of the broccoli. I have a couple more packs of the Calabrese broccoli and those are from fruition. And then purple sprouting broccoli. So some of those, again, I'm starting for my neighbor. The purple broccoli though, I'm probably gonna keep some for myself because they look super cool. And it's pretty. I need like a, an acre of the garden. That's just, I just need so much more garden. Pickles or cucumbers. <laughs> They're not pickles until you pickle them. Um, bush pickle, cucumber, grew this last year, loved it. Mexican sour gherkins, cucamelons, um, mouse melons, all those different names. Really excited to try it. I love gherkins. I love like that uh, uh, sweeter tomato or tomato, cucumber. And so I'm really excited. Um, New York slicing 264. 
The slicer I grew last year um, was this one, Market More. Didn't love it, didn't grow super well, and I didn't honestly like the flavor a whole lot, so that's why I'm trying a different one. And then Silver Slicer. Love you. That's all the cucumbers. Cucumbers. Cucumber. And then corn. Got two baggage. Uh, corn, it's not best to grow two varieties in one area because it does, it can, supposedly, this is what I've heard, it can actually affect this year's this year's crop. So um, I'm only growing one type of corn. And it's Dorini Sweet from Baker Creek. These have 75 seeds in each. So I'm going to be able to grow quite a bit. No, I did not. And those were just sitting there. Oh, I gotta put these away. These are ones that I had gotten from an order and didn't put them away. <gasps> Good job, you melon. Can't wait for that. I love melons in general. Marigold. Gotta have marigolds. In your Mongolian giant sunflower. Look at that thing. So excited. Um, sweet alyssum for these. Calendula for, I'm going to hopefully use these for some medicinal purposes. Um, more marigolds. These are Cracker Jack. Cosmos, because I love all the Cosmos. Give me all the Cosmos in, in the world. Like, I just love Cosmos. They're like my favorite flower. Um, Rubenza. Dark Cosmos. Really pretty. Look at that one. Seashell. Oh, so freaking pretty. These ones just got me. Phlox. Um, a sugar, sugar stars. They just, I saw the picture and I was like, yeah, gotta order. Uh, yarrow, Colorado mix. Again, bees plus, um, they're good for like attracting, it's a, like a trap flower. Um, I did actually order, I forgot, I ordered from burpees. I did actually order some seeds from burpees. So I, this is, this is for my husband. I would much rather grow watermelon that I could save seeds from eventually, but these are watermelon seeds. Um, one is red ruby and one is big tasty. Um, both are seedless, so they are hybrids, bred to be seedless, and yeah, not ideal, not my favorite thing, but whatever. It is what it is. My husband hates watermelon with seeds, so. I love. Yes, I love watermelon too. Um, peas, which I will grow multiple times. I'll grow them in the spring and probably in the fall. Uh, sugar snap peas. I had these from fruition last year and grew some of them, but I just didn't grow enough of them. I grew like four plants. So you get like a few here and there, not enough at once. Um, Oregon Sugar Pod 2 from Burpees. And then Sugar Ann. So, onions. I'm only growing two varieties of onions. I grew the same ones last year. I've just got multiple packs of each one. New York Early and Red on the Red Onion versus the Rosa di Milano. Um, both are long day varieties because that's what I can grow in uh, the north. Lastly, herbs. Oh, herbs. Um, so parsley, curly, moss curled parsley, um, dill, more yarrow, which is, is an herb actually. So um, cilantro. Some of, a lot of these actually are from last year. I didn't even, I didn't I have to order a lot of herbs because I didn't plant a ton. Um, oregano, Greek oregano, holy basil, Tulsi, ba Tulsi basil, smells amazing um literally the best okay chamomile i want to uh save the, the flowers for tea genevieve basil giant italy parcel pars parcel parsley thyme catnip which i really didn't i wanted to grow last year and i didn't more cilantro i realized i had to um, Emily basil. This I got from, I got it from that giveaway. Um, eucalyptus, which I got to send these to someone. I got to send some seeds. So I'm going to leave those out. Um, more lavender because it's an herb. I put it in the flowers too, I guess, but rosemary. Thank you. German thyme. Oh, I have more giant of Italy. Parsley. Lemon balm. I don't know why I have this in the herb, it's not really an herb, but celery, mint, and then more Tulsi basil. So I have a lot of herbs. Well, that's it. Only 30 minutes later of going through seeds. Holy moly. But I'm excited. I have a ton of seeds that I'm growing and I am really, I'm just ready to get seeds in the ground. Like I'm ready to get out there, but you ready to? Ready to start growing? Um, 
Next, I will be starting, well, first I'll be starting onions and Brussels sprouts will be shortly after that. And then we'll go from there. Um, but thank you guys for joining me. I will obviously update you guys as we start the seeds and everything. Um, remember, we're growing today for a better tomorrow. So. Please like, subscribe, and join me on the next one.